Mount Vesuvius unleashed fiery gases and scorching ash on August 24th in 79 AD. Visitors to the California Science Center see a computer-generated film reconstructing the tragedy. The disaster has been shown on screen many times in an Italian feature from 1913, seen here on YouTube, and other Hollywood treatments, including scenes of this year's epic film Pompeii. Archaeologist Kenneth Lapotten says hot ash preserved the outlines of the victims and kept intact many everyday items that surrounded them. When we go to Rome, we have the glorious shells of great imperial buildings. What Pompeii gives us is something we don't get in the literary sources, which is the everyday, the domestic, the simple. Including the coins and artwork, household gods, work tools, and cooking utensils. Pompeii was a small commercial city away from the ancient Roman centers of power, and its neighboring community, Herculaneum, was a Mediterranean resort. Both were buried in the eruption. Diane Perloff of the California Science Center says they still hold a fascination. This was a city that was a resort, it was luxurious, it was high living, and then it was just, you know, wiped off the face of the earth all at once. There's something very sort of mythical about, about that story. The film Pompeii, released in February, brought that drama to the screen with a mix of fact and fiction, says Kenneth Lapati. The latest Pompeii film, I think, did a really good job of capturing urban topography. They did flights over the site and they computer reconstructed the city. The volcano, I think, they did a good job of. They didn't have a lot of lava. They had volcanic gases and clouds and mudslides because if you had a lot of lava, we wouldn't have anything preserved. It would have been burnt and destroyed. That science is explained here, along with a fascinating glimpse into the everyday lives of these ancient Romans, their medical tools, artworks, and the weapons and armor used by gladiators. 150 items are on loan from the Naples National Archaeological Museum. California Science Center President Jeff Rudolph. The forces of nature are uh, incredibly strong and we've learned to live with them, but uh, they can have uh, catastrophic consequences. Pompeii was rediscovered in the 18th century, buried beneath the ash, with haunting images that stare out from its artwork. Those faces from the past speak to modern viewers, says Kenneth Lapotten. But I think it also is a mirror of the present where we see ourselves in the past. And that's why for 250 years, Pompeii, since its rediscovery, has been incredibly popular and exhibitions like this one are so exciting. And why the drama of Pompeii still intrigues us. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.